Hey guys, welcome back to Defeating Hair Loss. My name is Steve, and I've got some news for you that is a little shocking to me, but I'm just gonna, just gonna throw it out there. I always appreciate all your questions. I appreciate all your text. I appreciate all your comments. Take them very seriously. Try to answer all those. Thank you for the nice ones. Thank you for the not so nice ones, if there's any out there. The point is I'm very engaged with you because you're watching these videos and I appreciate that. So someone on WhatsApp from, I think it was out of the country, sends me a video and it was a, a podcast of, you know, some podcaster and a doctor. I can't name his name, at least not yet, because I don't want to bring any attention to him because I think he's wrong and I just want to bring it to your attention. So he sends me a question and he says, hey, Steve, you're talking about this finasteride all the time on your channel. Look at this video and he sends it to me. And this doctor just rips finasteride apart. I wasn't even sure if I was going to make this video because I don't even want you to get an idea that there's an actual physician out there that's very negative about finasteride because it's going to be counterproductive. I want you to stop losing your hair. Anyway, point being is he makes a couple. I'm, I'm only going to bring up a few points. Number one, this doctor, I'm not a doctor, so I have no medical training. I've been researching a lot, like you have, and I've worked with some of the top doctors in the world and continue to do so. This is a doctor who says that when you are on testosterone replacement therapy, you cannot use finasteride. That was the whole point of the podcast. It's more like a health and fitness and wellness, bodybuilding, nutrition kind of podcast. This doctor is saying that everyone he knows that's on finasteride has sexual side effects. Everyone. And I'm like, I thought it was like 1.8% from population ages men in 18 to 65. But this doctor happens to be around anyone that has ever been on finasteride has sexual side effects. So that was the first red flag. The second thing is he talks about the other uses of finasteride with male prostate enlargement. And he specifically states in the podcast that the finasteride masks prostate cancer. Okay, that's pretty concerning. And to me, my grandfather had prostate cancer. My father still has prostate cancer. He's still alive. Things don't look good for me, and I've been on finasteride for 19 years. So what does he mean by that? Well, obviously, he means it's going to conceal the fact that you have prostate cancer. When I have gone through all my research and talking with doctors, there is some validity to what it masks. The finasteride, when you get a PSA, which is the, the blood test you need to get if you have cancer in your family or you get over 50 years old, will mask the number a little bit. Not a lot, but you just need to find a baseline. So in other words, if you at 50 years old get a PSA, and let's just say it's you know, 1 or 0.8, that could be masked by the finasteride you're taking. Really, it might be like 1.2. But as long as we have that baseline number and we get checked every six months to a year, you can get checked every year, I get checked every six months. Then we see if there's any increase, we have an issue in the blood. But this doctor just says this mask, so if you have prostate cancer, it's gonna say you don't have prostate cancer. That makes zero sense to me. So those two things alone really freaked me out because here's someone, it's only one person, but here's someone out there that's watching these videos and ask me a legitimate question. He doesn't even know I'm making this video and I'm gonna respond and tell him to watch this video. Because, yeah, it's pretty concerning. Here's a physician, and I haven't researched this doctor. I haven't found out if he's an actual physician. Some people call themselves doctor. I don't know. I'm eventually going to come out with who it is, not to, you know, disbarge him or whatever you call it. I just don't really want to bring any attention to this because I don't want you guys Googling and finding out, oh, my God, this is really, really bad. Um, he talks about so many people that have lawsuits against Merck for finasteride. And I have documentation on that as well. There's, a, uh, there's an endocrinologist in New York that basically makes his entire living off about 500 patients that are suing Merck from finasteride side effects. The guy came to the ISHRS meeting a couple years ago and told the top doctors that half of these guys are just looking for some sort of disability settlements, which doesn't really hold water to me. So listen, I've told you this before, I'll tell you this again. 
If one, just one young man or someone of any age says, hey, Steve, I really trusted you. I understand you didn't do this on purpose. I have a serious issue. It's a health issue. It's from taking finasteride. And it's all because I trusted you. As soon as I hear that, I'm done. I'm out. No more for me. I'm not going to, you know, just talk down about it. I'm not going to tell you to get off it, but I'm definitely not going to promote it. And I'm definitely going to walk away from any advice I give you. So the, this is the kind of stuff that's out there. And the reason why I'm bringing it up in this video is be very careful out there, obviously, on the internet. And I know you know this already, but this is really, really concerning because obviously you know why, that it's all false. And then once you get scared and you stop taking that medicine, you lose your hair. And that's what this channel is trying to help you not do, lose your hair. Hey, I hope you like this. Don't forget to like and subscribe.